Hey there. Hey. All right. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the 2020 PGA Championship here at TPC Harding Park. We're pleased to be joined by 2015 PGA Champion Jason Day. Jason uh, posted a second round 69 that included four birdies, one bogey, a double bogey. Um, he sits at six under par for the championship. Thanks for rattling those off. Yeah. <laughs> um, but overall, you have to like what you've accomplished yeah. these last two days, correct? Y yeah, it's been um, – It's uh, you know, the course played a little bit – obviously a lot harder today uh, for us in the afternoon. I know that the guys got a, a lot stronger wind yesterday. So to be able to walk off beating the golf course and shooting 69 today, I was pretty pleased with that. Right, let's go to two and Rex. Jace, if you go back to your last four starts, counting the two in mm. Columbus, how do you feel? I mean, is this about as good as you felt in a long time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, de I definitely feel good. I, I, I'm to the point now where I'm nitpicking my rounds, and before I really wasn't. I was like, oh, was, you know, I'm just happy to get get inside the cut, <laughs> you know, and, and get onto the weekend. And sometimes you you need those weeks to just make it and get some confidence, and um, you know, certainly have gained a lot of confidence over the last three weeks or three times that I've played and um, you know I'm just going to try and tidy up the putting for this weekend hopefully and uh, hit a little bit better off the tee and, and I, uh, physically how do you feel oh is that what you're asking beforehand no no I kind of okay. wanted the first part too but down the second yeah. part's physically no physically I feel, feel great you know I um, I'm always trying to stay disciplined with my exercises and um, soft tissue work and then uh, overall I feel I feel good so I'm, I'm you know when I first came out, I struggled to walk around a golf course and play golf. You know, it was it hurt to walk, but um, now I feel great and I feel fine. Thanks. Okay, we're going to zoom out to Ron with the San Francisco Chronicle. Ron, you're up, sir. Hey Jason, thanks for your time here. Um, I'm curious your thoughts. Harding, as you might know, has a history of producing big name winners. Right. Uh, these are the best players seem, seem to win here. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you think that is, and how much of an advantage is it? for you and Brooks and guys who've won majors right. who've been at the top of the game on a course like this over the weekend? It's a big golf course. I mean, it's a big boy golf course. It's The strange thing here is when we have the southwesterly wind, there's a lot of side wind golf shots. Um, so you have to really control your, your ball flight. If you're comfortable hitting a fade, um, you know, it'd be great into the right to left winds and then you're starting at way left on the left to right wind. So there's a good mix of right to left holes with wind and, and left to right holes with wind so you really have to be committed to your swing or the shot that you're actually trying to play and then on top of it the greens um i think last time we were here they had a little bit more poana and they were a little bit more bumpy but uh the green surfaces are playing tremendous uh they're starting to get that little kind of purple dry look to them and uh you know with this wind it's it's definitely difficult but you know obviously you add all that into it and it's a major championship that's where I think a lot of the guys feel a lot more pressure and you know usually when you have a tough golf course like this the it kind of separates uh, the the really guy the guys that are re pl really playing well right now compared to the guys that are you know kind of just on the cusp of playing well right, let's go to three that's sam jason i believe uh daily city is the largest filipino community right. in the united states and and Obviously, we don't have spectators out here, yeah. but do you, ha do you have sort of a vibe for how people are pulling for you there? I mean, have you I mean, that at all? Yeah, not really. I think we, we get it on 12 a little bit, but uh, it's just hard. I know that if I if we were playing, they'd, the, the community would come out and support a lot because uh, once you're a Filipino, you're always you're part of the family pretty much. So it's uh, it's unfortunate that we can't – I can't see, you know – the faces out here, especially, you know, the fans around this week and, you know, obviously miss them dearly uh, for, for that reason. I know that when I come to San Diego as well, there's a big population down there and um, I feel like any time I'm in California, there's, it, I get a pretty good support. Good. All right, we'll zoom out again to Evan Priest. Evan. Ev. Hey, JD, how are you, mate? Good, mate. Hey, mate, do you, uh, do you feel like today today's round was still progress um considering yes. it was just the two two sort of bad holes there and how confident yeah. do you feel of sort of marching towards that top of the leaderboard yeah no it Ev, it feels good mate i uh you know obviously 12 was a bit of a mess um you know i wish i could have at least bogeyed that instead of doubled it but uh you know overall you know i, I gave myself plenty of opportunities coming in and just didn't capitalize on them like i did yesterday so you know, shooting 69 today, moving in the right direction, which is nice. Uh, if I can do that over the weekend, 
maybe shoot you know a couple more um, over the Saturday and Sunday round. Hopefully, I'm there um, you know Sunday in contention. But the game feels good. I'm excited to come out and play every single day. So I'm just going to try and tidy up the driving a little bit on the on the range and um, try and hold some more putts tomorrow if I can. Thanks, Jess. No okay, we're, uh, we're going to go to four. Ben. Mate, you, you talked about you're in that place where you're nitpicking your rounds now. Mm. That's your confidence is obvious when you're sort of not loving the ones that still end up in the fairway, just obviously not exactly where you aimed them. I'm seeing that out there. So you're clearly... Yeah. You're I mean, it's that or I'm, I miss hit it a little bit and I'm just like frustrated because I just miss hit it. I mean, I'm, I'm really nitpicking there. So you're, you're clearly in a good headspace then is what I'm saying. Yeah, I... You know what, Benny, I... Uh, I've been in such a terrible headspace for the last six months that I just, you know, I just, I'm trying to have a better outlook, you know, a better attitude about it. And um, it's definitely, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you have a better attitude and you're, you're excited to go to the golf course. It makes things like a day like today where it's difficult um, seem a lot better than, you know, coming out if you had a terrible attitude or you're not feeling that great. Um, you could potentially come out here and, and shoot yourself uh, out of the lead or, you know, out of the contention. So I'm, I'm just, I'm excited for the next two days. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be tough, and uh, it should be, uh, should be a good weekend. We're going to zoom out to Vern. Vern, you're with Jason. Vern, you might be on mute. How about now? Can you hear me now? I you're hear good, you. sir. Yep. Okay. Hey, sorry about that. I'm jumping into the party a little late, so I'm sorry you addressed it before. Yep. But uh, Houghton League was there when you got there, and he is still there yeah. on the practice range. I don't know if anybody yeah. told him to, hey, go home. But, I mean, I, just just, just, just a testament to this guy who, uh, who I guess, I guess smells blood in the water, I guess. Yeah, well, you know what? He was on the putting green when I was teeing off today, and he was on the driving range, and then he was on the chipping green as I was doing some interviews. So he's probably the only guy that rents out the golf course to stay instead of renting out a house this week, which is kind of uh, a unique. I know the guy likes to practice, but geez, man, it's uh, it's a major week. Hopefully, uh, he knows what he's doing, and I'm sure he does because he's playing, you know, obviously playing better than us. So, um, you know, I'm about to go and do some practice, but not as uh, many hours as he's put in today. That'll about Thank do, you. Jason. Thank you for stopping Thanks. by. Uh, have a good evening. Thanks.